And we're back with Pam Serrano to talk more about life as a mother and what's been going on since you left KDKA. Oh my goodness. How about, um, it felt like when I left in 2020, and I'm so happy to be back here. It's like being back with family. I felt like everything changed in yeah. an instant. Um, the accident happened with Mary, and uh, then I came back to work nine months later, and I broke my leg and my ankle. I remember this, oh right. My goodness. So it was just a whirlwind, but honestly, and I, and I know each and every one of us as people, we're all going to go through that dark night of the soul. And for me, um, there's been quite a few of them. But uh, in particular, when, and I, I, I share this openly, when I was home recovering from my broken ankle and leg, I, I felt this just incredible need for more, um, that my faith was taking me so far. but. I wanted to go further with it. I knew that God had protected Mary from either further injury, and I, I just really started to open, open my Bible, and I really hadn't been reading it. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, it's been remarkable, because I, have, I think I had God out here, like running alongside of me, and thought that was enough. And he said, oh no, I wanna be right here, oh. in the center, oh. right here. And, um, and that's been the biggest difference maker for me. It's been life changing. Mm -hmm. So um, I would never want, you know, what's happened to Mary to have happened. Um, as mothers, we just, we wish that we could take it on ourselves. Right. Absolutely. But I, I see life through a totally different lens. And I don't know that I would have seen it through that lens had things not happened. I mean, compassion, you just, Honestly, just the beauty of the day. Yeah, it's just all put it into perspective. Absolutely, just, um, you know, sometimes you hear these cliches like, you know, slow down, smell the roses, appreciate the day, and it's almost like it has taken on um, such great meaning and centered me mm -hmm. um, in a way that I, it's a growth process, right? So I'm right. still growing, um, but I, I feel, um, secure and knowing that he has our future in his hands and we're in the best hands possible and yeah so i i, I brought some of these cards I, because i cannot believe this i mean you had such incredible support from the community it was in, it was truly incredible but i have to say isn't that just pittsburgh right? it, it is i mean yeah. so many we've done so many stories you've done so many stories on people that have really gone through horrific things mm -hmm. and um, the community always shows up and I just don't, I don't know who has a heart like Pittsburgh. I just haven't seen it anywhere. And so we got the, it's just honestly thousands of cards. Handwritten cards and letters. Handmade cards yeah. about their faith and people, this, this one letter is from Somerset County from a little boy in the sixth grade class in middle school. And this is something that, you know, this isn't something the teacher had him write. He wrote this. He wrote this. Yes. In the middle, it says, rejoice on the day God lays his healing hands on you. I mean, what sixth grader says something It takes like the that. time to do that. It takes Beautiful. the time to do that. Um, I, I know that uh, through this process, leaving news, that you have found a new role and yes. you're actually with the yes. diocese now? Yep, I work for the Catholic Diocese of Pittsburgh. I'm, I'm so grateful and so blessed um, to have such a great opportunity. And I, I get to do journalism and I write for the Pittsburgh Catholic Magazine. And I also do um, some writing on the schools and all the wonderful things happening and good news in our schools. And that is just because I'm walking this faith journey out, I have so much to learn. And every time I do a story, I'm learning something new. I just did a story on Father Michael Dekowitz and his amazing um, ministry on addiction recovery. Mm -hmm. And I'm always so touched by, by yeah. people. Yeah. Aren't, aren't people fascinating? It's, uh, so it, they really are. They really are. And I want to give you a hug. Oh, I, I love I it. I to give you a, this Thank has you been such so a beautiful, beautiful time spending with you Thank and with Mary. You. And we wish you the very best in Thank this next you. step. I can't wait to get the update. I, I have full faith that it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. That so. means the world to us. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming. Thank you. Oh, Thank I love you. you. I'm Thank so glad you, you guys were Thank here. You. Still to come on Talk Pittsburgh, one family's loss turned into an opportunity to help other grieving parents. How a new project will provide a safe haven during this difficult time.